ICAO introduced the language proficiency requirements in 2003, following a series of high-profile aircraft incidents and accidents in which insufficient language proficiency was found to be a factor. The goal was to set a universal minimum standard for English to ensure safe and efficient radio communications between pilots and air traffic controllers worldwide. In 2004, to support stakeholders, ICAO published document 9835. One important objective of this document is to provide guidelines for aviation language testing. So level 4 means the same thing, wherever a test is taken or whichever test is administered. Over the years, many tests have been developed based on document 9835 with varying interpretations. The result is that today there are significant differences in test design, leading to uncertainty over what tests measure and what scores mean, as well as overall quality. This undermines the meaningful implementation of the LPRs, and therefore safety. Since the launch of the LPRs, a great deal of work has been put into raising awareness of the importance of language in communication. However, the industry now needs to identify where the system can be strengthened and improved. One key way to achieve this is through harmonisation of test design. In line with our mission to promote best practice in aviation English training and testing, IKEA has produced a set of test design guidelines to support the international community with test harmonisation. The guidelines address eight broad aspects of test design, from content and tasks to assessment and test maintenance. They are intended to assist all stakeholders, in particular civil aviation authorities and people responsible for designing and developing tests in accordance with the LPRs. By creating the test design guidelines, it is our intention to contribute to the improved implementation of the ICAO LPRs and ultimately to ensure the skies remain safe.